Hey guys, welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video and today I'm going to show you how to create massive objects like that. Yeah, things that are that massive and don't lag at all. As you can see, no lag at all. So um, let's get close to it and uh, let's see how big this actually is. And uh, yeah, it's pr pretty fucking big and it's not even stuck to the ground. Yeah, it's not stuck to the ground. So, I'll prove that to you right over here. As you can see, I can put it on the lift. So it's not stuck to the ground. Um, yeah, this is basically a green screen. So um, I can provide this in the workshop if you want to. And um, yeah, so this will be in the description below. This can be um, very useful. But let's get into how to create big objects like these that don't lag at all. Okay, first off, you want to start off with the block you want to create uh, a thing of. So, for example, we want to make a football field to play some football on. And we start off with one stone block. That's it, just one block. You save this as um, the floor of the football field. And then you save it. Then you go to your user save folder. So you have app data, roaming, excellent games, scrap mechanic user, your user ID, then you have save and blueprints. Then you go in blueprints and you, um, you organize it so that the uh, latest one is on the top. And then you'll be able to see it's one block over here. Now if you open blueprint.json with any kind of uh, notepad editor, um, a wordpad editor, then you can just see the text over here. It's just one line of code, easy peasy. Um, this is the coordinates of the, uh, the, the thing, x, y and z, and then you, no wait, this, this is the coordinates because this says position, and this is how big it is. Now, if you want to make it uh, 500 big and another 500, and by the way, this is um, these two coordinates are horizontal, and this coordinate goes vertical. So let's say 500 by 500, and save this, and then you go back in the game, and you place your lift again. And you'll see the floor has updated and now it's freaking huge but we want to have a special color so let's give it some color let's give it red um, and if you want to know what the colors are you can see that on the internet just go to internet and search the hex value um, yeah that will be on the screen hex value and then you'll get a six long number and then for example, red is FF0000. This is perfect red, not available in the game. But whatever, we'll just make it perfect red. And here you see, that's perfect red. And yeah, you can use this for any kind of thing. Um, and it won't lag at all, even when it's on top of the, uh, the mini flyer. It doesn't freaking care and that's because this thing is seen as one object just one object and not uh, many little panels that you create with your uh, thing so if you do this then you create a 16 by 16 panel and if you do it again and it's a 16 by 16 and a 16 by 16 panel and not a 32 by 16 panel what you would expect to happen but it doesn't. It doesn't paste these two together. It just, yeah. And there's a really so, uh, good solution to see that. If you take the wall tool, you can not see any little lines. Now, if you create two 16 by 16 panels, then uh, these won't paste together. As you can see, they will stay um, separate. And um, yeah. By using this JSON trick, you can create 
giant mass of things that don't lag at all. Now, let's create something useful. Um, if we create a green big field, then we could, could use um, some walls and then we have a big football field or soccer field or whatever. The possibilities are endless, just endless. You can do whatever you want with this thing. Um, so, for example, you want something that reaches the ceiling, then you, for example, five big and it goes until the ceiling. The ceiling is about 3000 blocks, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 3000 blocks. Then you can just boom and you have the big pole that doesn't even get in the blueprint menu. It's that big. But yeah, here you go. A big pool and um, I'm wondering why it's not even glitching in the ground if you make this well it doesn't matter if we remove it it doesn't it doesn't care if we make this bigger then what happens if we make it bigger we'll see then we have this pool but it will sink into the floor, as you can see. Now, I'm very interested if we... Hmm, that's interesting. Now, if we create it even bigger, so it's even heavier, then we can do this, and it'll just sink into the floor. No. Come on. I know you can do it. Right. It doesn't want to. So what can we do to make it sink into the floor? We can use metal. So we'll save this thing as any name, it doesn't really matter. And um, then you go to your folder and go to the latest blueprint, open that one. By the way, the download link for um, Notepad++ will be in the description below. And you'll have this thing is the metal block. Now, if you take the UUID of the metal block, then you can go over here. And this is the stone. So replace this with the metal block. And now your complete structure should be metal. If you, oh, not this one, but this one. Now it's completely metal. Now it should sink into the floor with no problems at all. As you can see. And it's not creating any lag. At all. The two poles are even colliding and it doesn't freaking care. There we go. There we go. Making some speed. Ooh. I have no idea how this weight thing works, but whatever. Um, this is how you create big objects. Um, you can do whatever you want with this. You can make um, walls that cover the entire edge of the world and not lag at all. You can make these poles that glitch into the ground. You can make giant green screens. You can make uh, big football fields. You can make anything you want, just anything you want, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, and um, don't forget to like this video if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to see more, and see you in the next one, bye.